Uh, going to the next uh, faults and corrections would be negative movement, load, or trigger. Negative movement means I'm going away from the pitcher. Uh, load means I'm loading up a trigger. I'm pulling that trigger back, cocking that trigger back so I can unload. So now we're getting to that phase. And a very common problem is no load. They think because fast pitch softball is so fast and so quick that they don't have the ability to time to go back. They just stay here and take a short choppy swing. And uh, that's nice, it's a short choppy swing, but as a pitcher you're not afraid of that at all. You're afraid of the hitter who comes back and who can get on time. They don't get too far back, but they do get loaded. And as I talked about before, I need for my knee to get right over the top of that uh, toe and my chest to be just on the inside of that knee. That's the position which is loaded. Not everybody get, needs to get that far back, uh, but that's as far as I need to. The other things you're going to find people getting too loaded too far. So my chest is outside my knee where I no longer have leverage. So I want to make sure that I stay inside and stay attacking. This chin needs to be in front of that belly button. And if I load up too far, too far back, I lose the ability to stay strong and get that good leverage position. Uh, the timing of load is another problem, which I already talked a little bit about the timing. But if I'm late in getting there, I'm probably going to be late in my swing. And you're going to see an ugly looking swing. Uh, not attacking position is probably one of the most common ones. As I load up, I need to make sure that my chin is in front because obviously it's a lot easier to unload. It's a lot easier to go forward. If my chin is behind that belly button, I really don't have much to unload and I'm going to be probably swinging uphill. So it's a very common problem not to be in attacking position on load. Uh, another thing you'll see on players is as they load up, they'll come back onto their heels. So I'm in my stance, and all of a sudden I bring my weight not only back towards the catcher, but also back towards my backside. And again, all of a sudden I can wiggle my toes, and we say that's a non-attacking position. So every once in a while you'll see that, and now they're running away from the ball and really don't have any force behind that ball. Next problem is uh, negative movement. They may be relaxed here, but then they get real tight and real quick. And when they get real tight and real quick on their negative movement, usually they become Frankenstein. They operate as one. They become loot, not loose, and they can no longer let their body parts uh, work independently. So if I'm quick here, I usually bar my arm out, and then my arms, my shoulders, and the bat come through all at the same time, losing dramatic amount of uh, bat speed.